Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to stroke painting tutorial all right I'm gonna take my uh, dagger brush and uh, okay number 16 dagger brush number 6 dagger brush and number 10 dagger brush I'm gonna start off by uh, pouring paint on sheet basically I need a large surface for stroke painting so therefore I'm just gonna take plastic sheet and put the paint on it I'm gonna take um, number 16 dagger brush and I'm gonna take the lower side of it and uh, dip it in the blue paint and then the upper side of it in the purple paint all right then I'm just gonna well you can as you can see in the video I'm just gonna move it back and forth so the uh, brush so the bristles of the brush can absorb the paint and I'm gonna repeat it five or six times before doing it on the paper all right so while doing it on the paper I'm just gonna hold it with a uh, frame grip and yeah as you can see pretty easy this requires a little practice though all right again repeating the process take the paint do not mix them all right well first um, try out went well I'm gonna repeat the process again same just gonna take the brush uh, paint again and move it back and forth and now for the second coat for the smoother effect so basically I'm just gonna hold the brush very firmly and yet gently move it you know really gentle with it because I don't want my type you know flower to be ruined or something okay another thing you should keep in mind is that you should not take very large amounts of paints on other side of your brush because you're gonna move it back and forth and um, it's gonna turn in chaos so um, take small amounts of paint and paint the flower gently you know like uh, uh, layers by layers the texture of the flower will be very smoother if you do so okay so I recommend uh, doing it step by step you know first do the first layer and then the second wait for it to dry and then the third flower will have very smooth and light texture and that's the texture we want actually because we don't want uh, you know chaotic texture or something Rough, uh, rough surface because stroke painting requires uh, you know smoothness of hand and that's basically uh, the thing I'm gonna teach you here today so time for making breads this is actually way complicated than making flowers because you have to have control of your brush
Hours are all done. Now I'm going to take number 10 um, dagger brush and here is where the things are getting complicated. So I did the flower with two paints, um, two color paints. Now I'm going to do stems and leaves with three color paints. So basically it's going to be like th three colored stroke painting. Uh, hope you keep up with me. Okay, so for doing stems and leaves, I'm going to take a dark green color, grass green color and yellow. So dark green color is going to be at the outer edge and grass green is going to be in the middle and yellow is going to be at the edge, at the you know, starting tip, the bigger end of the dagger brush. So for highlighting effect, right? So let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to take yellow color at the uh, higher end of the brush. And then at the middle, I'm going to take light green. I'm going to be really careful uh, while taking the light green, you know, grass green. Because, uh, because I don't want it to mix into yellow and cause chaos. So as you can see... Leaf painting time. All right. Uh, watch closely. I'm gonna take the higher tip and move it upwards, and then lowering the brush. But this time, but I'm not gonna move it. Like I'm not gonna change any directions or anything. I'm just gonna move it, move it down. All in. Uh, you can see it has a really cute effect now for the second leaf i'm gonna show you a different style of doing so so same process um basically i'm just gonna take the higher nib and uh, do it outside and then gently applying pressure and being gentle i'm just gonna move it upwards like this and now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna do the higher and on the inner side so i changed the direction if if you're paying attention i 
did the high end inside so basically uh, basically it creates like a little light effect on the effect of the leaf and it looks 3d and also looks very pretty <laughs> 